Activity 4, Booklet 5. The Second New Deal. Did it complete recovery and start reform? Key questions. Did the New Deal end the Depression? Secondly, what were the New Deal's strengths and weaknesses? Task 1. Read the introduction and the quote from FDR's second inaugural address in January 1936. Identify the left and right wing concepts in different colours and mark on the political spectrum where you would place these policies by drawing lines from the source to the political spectrum line underneath. The first New Deal programmes raised expectations from those on the left and anger from those on the right. Roosevelt had to choose a path away from the middle ground and opted for more social and economic reform in 1935. He wanted to have an easy win in the 1936 presidential election, losing only two out of the 48 states. But it was clear that many problems still remained, and Roosevelt recognised these in his second inaugural address in January 1936. In spite of our efforts and in spite of all our talk, we have not weeded out the overprivileged and we have not effectively lifted up the underprivileged. We do not destroy ambition, nor do we seek to divide our wealth into equal shares. We do not. We do assert that the ambition of the individual to obtain for him and his a proper life is an ambition to be preferred to the appetite for great wealth and great power. Underneath we have the left, the centre and the right. Draw from the source examples of left, right and centre ground policies and aims. Is there, therefore, a shift in FDR's political position from the first New Deal, concentrating on relief, to the second New Deal, focusing on reform? Here was a new focus less on business needs and more on reforming areas that affected ordinary people. Unions able to fight for their members' needs, financial security in old age, cheap electricity, as well as continuing the fight to reduce still high levels of unemployment. Roosevelt also recognised that he had to say whose side he was on. I should like it said of my first administration that in it the forces of selfishness and lust for power met their match. I should like to have it said of the second administration that in it, these forces met their master. Who do you think FDR meant were the forces of selfishness and lust for power? It had become evident during the first New Deal that there were two groups in society who needed government help, the rural hidden poor and the poorly paid workers. The rural hidden poor had been exposed by the Tennessee Valley Authority Projects, the TVA. In 1936, photographer Walker Evans and journalist James Aggie toured cotton farms in the South, run by white tenant farmers. Their book, Let Us Now Praise Famous Men, published as a result of their tour, was starkly honest and demonstrated to new audiences the harsh realities of life for those poor families. Both black and white citizens struggled to have the most basic housing and education. Even those in work faced problems as violence and intimidation were used against union members. Armed thugs were hired and the police supported employers. The methods were exposed by a 1936 sub Senate subcommittee inquiring into industrial unions. They found that intimidation, spying on union members, activities and violence were all common. Task 2. Complete this table based upon your lecture notes, noting how each of the measures of the Second New Deal benefited parts of the American economy. Please use your lecture notes and the diagram of the Second New Deal in this booklet. Task 3. How did the Second New Deal help the nation? Read the extended text below, mark where the paragraph should be inserted, and complete a storyboard sheet summarising the paragraphs in no more than 20 words, and drawing a simple illustration to support your brief summary. Each picture may have a title. Please staple the work to your page in this booklet. And the text is identified here below.